the deadline for Britons to use the entirety of their ESA allowance and boost their savings is April 5, 2023. Savers are being urged to use it or lose it, as only two weeks remain for people to take advantage of the £20,000 threshold. To assist in making savings go further, people are opting to take out ESA accounts with their banks and building societies. Those with ESA products in their name are unable to exceed the ESA allowance threshold, which is usually £20,000 for most accounts, without having to pay tax. Anything under the ESA allowance is not liable for income tax, tax on dividends, or capital gains tax on funds in an ESA, potentially saving you a lot of money. People are encouraged to max out their tax-free ESA allowance each year, because whatever is not used is lost. At the end of every tax year, the allowance is renewed which means the deadline to use or lose the £20,000 allowance is April 5th. It is possible to save all of this money in one type of ESA account or split the allowance across multiple savings accounts. There are other allowance thresholds depending on the account, for example, lifetime ESA customers can only put away £4,000 annually. As well as this, the allowance for junior ISAs is currently at £9,000, which is reserved for helping boost the finances of young people. Yuma Rajas, CEO and co-founder of Capital Rise, shared why it is important people take advantage of their ESA allowance. She explained, The time is now for everybody to get their investments in order, as we are just a few short weeks away from the start of the new tax year. Make sure you are making the most out of your current £20,000 annual tax-free allowance by looking into all the ESA options available to ensure you are still saving or investing at a competitive rate. It is important that the public is aware of the true benefits of ISAs, as well as how they work. This is essential at this time of rising costs and high inflation, to ensure your money is working as hard for you as it can be. The savings expert also warned about the rules and regulations which are placed on people opening various ESA accounts. Ms. Raja added, one is that you are restricted in the number of new ISAs. You are permitted to open each tax year. Currently, you can open one of each ESA type per year. The £20,000 personal tax allowance can be divided between ISAs, or all put into one product. For example, you can open a new IFISA, cash ESA, stocks and shares ESA, and a lifetime ESA in a given year, but you are not able to open more than one of each type. It should be noted that there are slightly different deadlines for when and how people can deposit money into ISAs before the deadline.